say you want to grow your business, there are four models of growth that a business can take. The first is market penetration. So what it means is that you are going to, right now, you are doing 10 million Naira every month. That's what you're doing right now. You want to grow your business. So you want to move from 10 million Naira a month to 40 million a month. Selling the same product. Right? Let's say I sell sachet water or I sell cars or I sell phones. Right? So the question now is, I want to keep selling phones. The product is the same. You are not changing the product. All you are looking for is more customers. So if your plan is to keep selling the same product or products or the same services, all you are looking for is more customers. That is market penetration. You are in Lagos, you are in Abuja, or you are in Port Harcourt. Right now you are doing 10 million. You want to grow to 40 million without going outside Lagos, without going outside Abuja. You just want to go deeper into your market. That is one way of growing your business, market penetration. The second way of growing a business is to develop new products. Right now, you sell, you sell phones and you are doing 10 million a month. Another way you can, you can grow is to go into something related. So you want to start selling laptops. So the goal is, right now I sell only phones, I do 10 million a month. I want to get to 40 million a month and my plan is I want to introduce new products. I want to start selling laptops. That is product development. You are introducing new products to expand your sales. That is one way you can take. As you can imagine, this second one, introducing new products, is, is riskier than the first option. In the first option, you know your product very well. You've already been selling to some customers, so you have an idea of what the customers need, how they behave, and what their preferences are. So you know it well. All you're just looking for are, you're looking, you're looking for more people who are like your existing customers. You just want more customers. That is, that one has the lowest risk. You are selling the same product to the same market. All you want are more customers. When you're introducing new products, it's a bit risky. Because, because you can sell phones well, doesn't mean you can sell laptops well. You might get surprises. So they are not always the same thing. You might be able to sell phones well, but you're not able to sell laptops well. So that can throw you a curveball. I'm sure you've seen businesses where the person was doing well with one product or one service. The moment they introduced another product or service, that second product became a drain on the main business. And that's because every new business will come with its own risks. So I need you to understand that. The first is penetrating your market, just getting more customers, selling the same products to them. The second is you can introduce new products or new services and sell it to your existing customers. So you have people that buy phones from you. Your plan is to start selling laptops to your same customers. So when people come to buy a phone, you can ask them, you, you know, we also sell laptops. That's another way to grow your business. The third way is to enter new markets. So what that means is, Right now, you are in Lagos, you sell phones, you do 10 million a month, you want to grow to 40 million a month. And you've heard that there's also money in Abuja. All this while, you've been running your business for five years in Lagos. And you are doing 10 million a month. One way to grow your business is to get into another market like Abuja that is a bit similar to Lagos where you have uh, people that have high purchasing power. So entering a new market is one way too of growing your business. You can... You are selling phones in Lagos. You can open another branch in Abuja that sells, own, that sells phones. But the difference now is that you now have access to a new market. You are, now, you are now selling to the Abuja market, unlike only selling to the Lagos market. The fourth way to grow a business is to diversify, go into a totally different business. So right now, I sell phones. I, I do 10 million a month. And I want to diversify my business. So I got to start a construction company. Or I can start a primary school or a secondary school. As you can imagine, the business I've started is totally unrelated to my first business, which is selling phones. And as you can imagine, this is the riskiest strategy for growing a business. Unfortunately, many people fall into this trap. And they call themselves serial entrepreneurs. I'm not saying serial entrepreneurship is bad. All I'm saying is that it is riskier when you go into a business that is totally unrelated to the business you are doing now. I can understand if you sell phones and you want to start selling laptops. That's fine. I can understand if you sell phones in Lagos and you want to open a branch office in Abuja, Port Harcourt, in Accra. 
that's fine. But what is going to put you in trouble is that you sell phones and now you want to go into hospitality, real estate. You want to start opening schools. You want to open a travel agency. The problem with that is that when you go into a new and totally different kind of business, you have to start from scratch. That's essentially what is going to happen to you. You are going to have to start from scratch. And that will come with its own risks. And I've seen situations where you are now taking money out of the phone business and you are using that money to subsidize the, the school you just set up, the construction company and stuff like that. So there are, there, are, there are people who have one business that is doing well. And because they feel they are not comfortable with that business, they want to grow. They make the mistake of entering a totally unrelated business.